I think the thing that the, the media and everybody should understand here is that the wiring that we're talking about was installed, we believe, after 1970. Um, this wire could have failed on its own, um, but certainly this wire was affected by sanding, meaning that water and sand, as a result of the storm, did, this wire came in contact with, uh, with water and sand as a result of sanding. Um, if I can have Tom step up here for a second and maybe explain some of these pictures to uh, elaborate more clearly to everybody what occurred. This photo here that I'm pointing to is in the infancy stages of the, uh, the structure fire. Here as a landmark, you notice uh, this is west of the boardwalk. This is known as the sawmill. Just east of that, on the other side of the boardwalk, is the Coors Ice Cream Store. Um, and on the other side, just north of Coors, is the Biscayne Candy Shop. If you notice here, uh, we have visible fire shown from the east side of the structure next to a electrical vault that was uh, known to be disconnected at the time, just to give you an idea of, of what you're looking at here. This photograph was taken from the south side of the beach viewing north. This photo over here is, as you can see, the sawmill on the west side of the boardwalk. This is the remains of the Coors Ice Cream Store and Biscayne Candies. This is what kind of debris the investigators had to uh, go through in order to come up with our, our findings. Again, another marker closer here to the east is, th is that electrical vault. This is after the debris was removed from our scene. This is a combination of the Coors ice cream store and Biscayne candy shop. <coughs> and uh, this, is, this is the, uh, the final area that we, uh, we conducted our investigation. Um, if you can note in there, there's still uh, pieces of the flooring left, and um, as well as this grayish area here is actually the beach sand. This is a view of the boardwalk. This area here would have been where Coors Ice Cream Store and Biscayne Candies was located. This is the east side of the boardwalk and to uh, kind of orient yourself to this side of the board would be where the sawmill, uh, sawmill restaurant is located. Through the chases here in front on the boardwalk, you have natural gas lines, and then through this chase here you have cable and electrical lines. 